People from 95 countries have signed up to be in this room today. The theme of today's conference is aging. An amazing moment to have like all of these experts together at the same time. I was thrilled to be invited to come and then when I was invited to uh, have a conversation with Eric, uh, you know, I was all in. Professor Eric Kandel. Why do you dialogue. call him Jeff and you call me Professor? Well, I just thought I would... Uh... <laughs> it's an interface between uh, disciplines that don't, or, or areas, sectors that don't normally come together. The idea of engaging science and society is extremely interesting. I think for the Nobel Dialogue is about sharing ideas, looking at how to take all of humanity up. I, I thought that uh, this uh, simulator that you can wear was very interesting. Think about how we design the world around younger living and younger people. The communicating with the general public is one of the major functions of the scientific community. And it's a function that is not exercised well. And today was a paradigm in how it should be done. I think the uniqueness of the Nobel Week dialogue format is that you have a lot of people from different sort of uh, perspectives of life. I very much appreciate uh, the opportunity to discuss these issues with a broader audience. Having that range is unusual and, and incredibly important. Age matters only in the sense that it's um, how you're functioning and chronological age is becoming less and less of a, a real measure of biological and uh, functional aging. They're not really old here, but they are like friendly. Looking at myself, I'm very happy with my wrinkles, with my white hair. I earned them rightly with hard work, and I will never give up on them. But I would encourage all you young people, go out and enjoy the day and you know, live your life and, and be Give, enrich your life as much as you can because life is too short. So see you in Gothenburg on December the 9th, 2015. Thank you all very much.